So today we're going to talk about real-time content scanning with a protocol called ICAM. So what's the point of this? So we say as a company, I want to go ahead and make sure all transaction content-wise, uh, sensitive information coming inside the company and also leaving the company is totally protected. Right? So we need to find a way to be able to scan all the traffic coming in and also the traffic leaving uh, the company to ensure that is in accordance to the company policy and also to avoid you know people stealing information right so what we call uh, data leakage you must have heard of that quite a bit so here we are talking about web transactions so when I say web transactions I'm talking about you browsing the internet you go ahead to different websites, you're downloading files, you're uploading files. So this is specific to web transaction. So how does that work? So the first thing you need to bear in mind here is we have transactions or information coming from the internet. This is the internet. Inside my company network, I've got my applications and servers, right? And then within that infrastructure here, I've got the ability to do all the security related to firewalls, related to application security, you know, and so on. So essentially, this device is seeing all the transaction coming in and all the transaction going out. So we want to have the ability at this level provide security where we're going to be able to do real-time content scanning and then check for all the web transaction, web content, leaving and coming inside the company. So why do we want to do that? We want to provide what we call DLP, Data Leakage Prevention. And one of the protocols that offers that is called ICA. So this is the Internet Control Adaptation Protocol. So how does that work? So essentially, when I have a user here, right, I'm going to draw again my usual little guys with um, just two legs and two arms, okay? So this user is going to be trying to connect to a specific application on the back end. So I'm going to draw that here. So going through the internet, going through my firewall, and then reaching my back end application. But what if this user is trying to download or upload some information that is not allowed, sensitive information, right, from the company? So this is where our DLP and ARCA data leakage prevention and the internet control adaptation protocol come into play. So what this allows us to do is to be able to go ahead and have another system here, for example. This system is specific to doing what we call scanning. So all the information flowing through our security choke point is going to be sent. So essentially we're going to have a flow going through this way, going to this external system, and this is where ICAP is going to kick in, and essentially this system is in charge of deciding is the information coming in valid, acceptable to the company policy, or is that information has some sensitive information that we're not supposed to go out and share. So this system could then return right, a yes to the user or a no to the user. Okay? If the transaction is clean, the system could allow the transaction to, to go all the way back to the application. Yeah? So you can see here how our ICAP server could be doing a lot of real-time content scanning, right, to make sure the companies are protecting against data leakage, right? Information leaving the company on an authorized uh, manner. So fairly fundamental to people who are worried about uh, information being sensitive information on the company being stolen or some malicious information being sent inside the company. So if that comes into your uh, remit, so think DLP, think ICAP as a way to integrate within our existing network infrastructure. That's it for today. So next time we're going to go ahead and talk about different topics, but until then, thank you.